This is lesson 163, writing practice. We're doing a lowercase a to z. So we're going to we're going to do our lowercase, the little ones now. Okay, we've got lots of lines. I don't have my numbers on here today. Okay, are you ready? Nice pencil there. We're going to start up here. We're going to just do A, B, C's, just right in order. And we're just going to do one of each, unless they're kind of complicated. Okay, so the clock letter around. Touch the bottom line. Go back up and straight down. That's the A. Then we have the B. Down. Oops. That one was very, very bad. I'm going to do that one over. Erase that one. And I'm going to do it again. Down, straight line, bounce up and over. Okay, there we go. That's a better one. So we've got A, B. What comes next? You know your ABCs, right? It'd be a C, and it's a clock letter. Nice and round. D is also a clock letter, so you do the same motion. Go all the way down up to the top line and back down to the bottom line. Nice. So remember you're doing the, the clock part first, up and then down. E. E is also a clock letter. But I start a little lower so that I, have, I can get a nice flat line for the cross one. So I go over. Looks like a C, doesn't it? And then I go back to where I started it and go flat line. Oops. Flat line. There we go. So we have A, B, C, D, E. And we practiced the F, or I showed you how to do the F on the last video. But we're going to do it again. So we start here and we go up to the line and over and straight down. Remember, don't make the line and then put an umbrella on it. You have to start here and make the umbrella part first and then go down and then cross it. Okay, and I'll do one more on this line. And this one's a clock letter also. It's a clock basement letter. So here we go. We're going to go around, come back to the start, up, go all the way down into the basement and hook. And that's the lowercase g. Let's go to line two. We're going to make the next letter, and it's an H. It starts on the top line. Remember, it's a tall letter. Start on the top, it goes all the way straight down to the bottom. Boing! Start. Bounces halfway up and over. So that is the letter H. And then the next one is I. I is just from the dotty line to the bottom line, just a straight line, and then a boink, just a dot, no meatball. J. J is the next one. We're going to start it just like we did with the I. Start on the dotty line and go into the basement and hook. And then boink, it even has a dot like an I. The next one is a K, a K that says K. Start at the top line, it's also a very tall one. And this is a lowercase, so we're not gonna start at the top line. We're gonna start at the dotty line, and we're gonna meet right here, and then back out. So let's go in, and then back out. All right, nice letter K. The next one will be an L, an L, just what? A line. So you start at the top line, it has to be tall. You go all the way down to the bottom line. See, it goes all the way from the blue solid line to the red solid line. All right, now we're gonna do the letter M. This is so important. I need you to always start in the middle, like the dotty line, go always Go down first, down and then up and over. We're going to bounce. Okay, ready? Down, bounce, and 
Then we go down again and bounce. And then we don't bounce anymore. We just stop there. So now we have the letter M and it has two bumps. Remember, go down. You have to go make this first line all the way down and then do your bumps. Not the, don't go bump bump and then put a flag on it. We don't want the flag on the on the double heel. Now we're gonna do a letter that's almost the same as that one. So we do K L M N. Sometimes I forget which one comes next. But the N is just like the M, down, up, and over, and stop. So now we're at the N. What comes next? O, and O is a clock letter. And it's nice and round. There we go, back to the beginning. And after that, we have a P and P. There's a couple ways you could do it. I like to stay on the line coming back up and over. But if you want to pick up your pencil and just, like do the line and then start here and do the round part, that's fine too. The next one is Q and Q is just like a nine and it's almost like a G, except it doesn't have the hook. So let's do it. Start here, it's a clock letter. It's facing the P. So Q is up and then it goes down to the basement and stops straight. See how the G comes down to the basement and hooks? This one comes down to the basement and stops. Okay, after the Q is the letter R. And we started on the dotty line, just like we do the M and the N. But we, when we bounce up and over, we stop before we go down. So we just kind of make a little umbrella there. So we have O, P, Q, R. What do you think comes next? The S. And it's just like the big S we did yesterday, only it's shrinky. Okay, here we go. Around. Get back here and we go switch back. There we go. There's a little tiny S. And my line is kind of thick to make it too close. Okay, so after S is the letter T. T is tall. Remember that T is tall. So you have to be up here. Didn't quite go to the top line, but it come just below the top line. And then you have to go all the way down through the dotty line to the bottom line. Remember, you have to make it way up here so that you can cross it on what? The dotty line. Oops, my pin wasn't working. So that's the T, okay? The next one is the letter U. It says uh. Starting on the dotty line and if you turned a U upside down, it would be an N. So it's just like an N, except it's upside down. But you have to start with the round, the curvy part first. Down, curve, up, and then you stop and go straight down. All right, we've got the U. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the next line, line four. We're going to do the next letter after U, and that is a V. A V is a, you go down slanty from the dotty line, go slanty to the bottom, and slanty to the, back to the dotty line. And it's a nice pointy V. Remember, these two are the start and stop, the same line. And this has a very, very sharp elbow. The next one, is a W and you know a, whenever you do the V and then you do the W next to it it looks like two V's so the W is down back up slant down and back up again so it looks like two of those stuck together the next one is an X and we always start here and go this way it's like 
with a lot of the letters we or some of the letters we go this way and then we go that way so starting here you go down this way just like you did with the V and the W but you stop there now we're going to go across the other way that's the X next is the Y and we start the Y exactly like we do the V or the W and the X so we're going to go from the dotty line slant to the bottom line and then we're going to go up here from the dotty line and go down touch right on the bottom line and keep going straight straight to the bottom or to the basement line this one likes the bottom or the basement where the spiders are so we have v w x y and what comes next our last letter the letter z that says z okay we go across this way to slant it backwards and then we go straight across the bottom line so we went this way remember not to go the other way because it has we're reading this way the z starts this way and goes that way okay so that is our letters from a to z lowercase and i hope you had fun doing this i enjoy writing letters okay so practice whenever you can because it's very important to have those and if you're neat and you you're doing your printing people can understand what you're trying to say what your letters and numbers are and your words okay I'm gonna go ahead and clear this board and I'm gonna go back to the beginning and I'm saying bye bye